Hey guys, this is Hydro from X Trades, and this is going to be another weekly analysis video. And as usual, we'll start off with the indices. Start off with SPY here. Um, I'll zoom in here. So first thing, um, like I said last week, expect there to be consolidation, and that's exactly what we got. Um, so this was another inside week here. We're starting to form a pretty nice flag here. So. Uh, one or two more weeks of consolidation and then we can see a big move in either direction but overall this week wasn't it was a red week but it wasn't too bad um overall we didn't yeah we had a red week but we did um we tried to hold on to that 444 level we did end up closing below which is a bad thing but uh, we could very easily bounce back again on monday right so um overall good action the uptrend is still intact and we've been consolidating very really tightly after making a really big move. So this is perfectly normal action. Um, you, we can expect a couple more weeks of consolidation and then a big move in either direction. But yeah, um, on Thursday it was going really well, but on Friday we had a pretty nasty cap down. And then we ended the day with a pretty big increase in volume. <clears throat> we ended the day at the lows with an increase in volume. So Friday was pretty ugly, but yeah, we'll see what happens uh, next week. Um, but yeah, that's the SPY. Next up, we'll take a look at QQQ. So QQQ, same thing. Double inside week here. Uh, it's trying to hold on to the trend line. Um, it actually closed below the trend line, so that's a negative. But again, we can very easily bounce off, and we're still holding at 360 or 370 support level. So as long as that's holding, we should be fine. But yeah, this is also getting really tight, and we can see a pretty big move coming up uh, shortly here but on the monthly chart it just looks like one big um, bull flag here so overall still definitely bullish but that can change very easily next week right if we break down 370 and then we could see a much bigger move lower um, but overall yeah Friday was pretty ugly again but at least at 370 level is holding so we'll see um, how it handles that but overall the uptrend is still mostly intact we did close below but again we can easily bounce off so yeah we'll see what's to come for next week um but yeah overall i would say definitely don't be bullish or bearish here bullish or bearish here stay neutral wait for a clear breakout in either direction and then play that trend otherwise just yeah stay neutral and uh, don't have big positions on right now um but yeah now we'll take a look at big cap tech stocks start off with apple so Apple looks, um, Apple doesn't look too great here, right? So the next key uh, support level is 172. We last, last week was pretty bearish, but we did bounce off and we closed above that 177 support level. But this week we did close below, so that's a negative for sure. And uh, yeah, we need to really reclaim that 177 level SAP. Otherwise, um, if we break that 173 support level and then 172 support level, there's a very good chance that we could flush more. But the yeah, Apple really needs to reclaim that 177 level. Next up, AMD. Take a look at AMD on the weekly chart because it's a very choppy stock. AMD is still forming that wedge here. So, um, yeah, the wedge is still intact. A couple more weeks of consolidation maybe. Let it tighten up even more, and then we can potentially see a big breakout or a big breakdown. But overall, overall, it's still stuck in consolidation, so not much to say for AMD. Next up, Amazon. Amazon had a relatively good week. It tried to break out, hit that 143.5 support or resistance level, and got rejected pretty bad. Um, and that's probably due to market weakness. But yeah, yeah on Friday, I had a pretty ugly day. Um, Big volume close to had its low, so not a great not a great day for Amazon last Friday. But um, yeah, we'll see if it if it can. Um, so there is a trend line forming around here. So let's see if it can hold that trend line. Um, if it can, then still continue to be bullish on it. Otherwise, it can just chop around for a little bit longer. But overall, Amazon has been acting um, pretty well recently. So. Not too much of a concern um, and more bullish than bearish on it for sure next up we'll take a look at Google so Google has also been holding up really really well um, 
it tested that 136 support level again this week, earlier this week, and then it bounced off. And uh, yeah, Google looks really nice here. Next resistance level at 144. And uh, yeah, not much else to say for Google. Um, there's a very good chance that I could just slow grind up. Um, but yeah, next up, Meta. So Meta had a really nice breakout on uh, yeah, Thursday, and then on Friday gave it all back and more. So not what you want to see, but again, we'll see if we, if we can reclaim that um, level. But there is a new trend line forming, and so far it's holding that. So we'll see if we can get a bounce off that. Um, yeah, so this is the new trend line we have to watch out for. But yeah, we'll see how that if it can hold that but yeah meta really needs to reclaim 306 for it to continue to trend up next up microsoft so microsoft had a pretty ugly week gave back pretty much everything it made last week um let's take a look at the daily chart so yeah on the daily it just looks like a bunch of chops so nothing to be too concerned about but overall i would say microsoft is just in consolidation mode it's uh, resistance at 344, support at 324. Those are the key levels, and there's a very good chance that we could just chop around for a little bit. Um, next up, Netflix. So Netflix had pretty significant week. Um, pretty ugly breakdown here from Netflix. We lost that 397 support level, or we're at it actually right now, but we lost that trend line for sure. Um, yeah, so we definitely broke that trend line. Um, there is a good chance that we could reclaim it next week, but right now it's looking more bearish than bullish. And uh, yeah, if that 397 level fails to hold, then there's a very good chance that Netflix could flush more. This was actually looking really good last week. Um, it looked like it really wanted to take out that 450 level, but yeah, um, Netflix did not turn out uh, well this week. And then next up, NVIDIA. So NVIDIA is... Uh, Forming this new trend line here, so we'll see how that holds. But yeah, Nvidia looks kind of choppy right now. Um, yeah, let's take a look at the daily chart. So Nvidia did lose its 50 day this week, so that's one very big negative, and it did gap fill. It looks like it's going to gap fill, so there's a very good chance that's going to hit 436 on uh, or 435ish. Um, next Monday, but yeah, not great action at all from NVIDIA, but uh, ideally we bounce off that 435 level. Um, but yeah, not much else to say for NVIDIA. As long as this trend line holds, I would still be bullish on it, but just be cautious. Um, there is also a down trend line forming here, so if we can take that out, that would be very bullish. But uh, yeah, that's all I got for NVIDIA here. Um, yeah. And then next up, we'll take a look at Tesla. So Tesla has been acting really well recently. Ever since that gap up, it's definitely had a change in character. It's been slow grinding up all week long. And uh, yeah, it really looks like it wants to go higher if the market will let it. But um, yeah, next support level would be around that 283, 284-ish. And then potentially all the way up to 300. But yeah, Tesla Tesla is actually looking really nice here. Really nice flag for me. It looks like it wants to break out higher if the market will let it. But overall, yeah, definitely bullish on Tesla. Um, all right, now we'll take a look at growth stocks. Start off with ARKK. Had an alert. If had an alert to see if it would take out that forty-five level, but didn't end up doing it. Um, so ARKK did lose support this week. It had a support level around that 40, 43.16 level, and it did close just below that. On Friday, but we can easily reclaim that um, the fall or next week. So we'll see if that if it can reclaim. And there's also a very clear downtrend forming here. So if it can reclaim that and bounce off, uh, that would be very bullish. And on the weekly chart, it just looks like a little bunch of chop. Um, so yeah, we really want to reclaim that 44.5 level and break that trend line on the daily. So break this trend line, and then I'll be back to bullish on here. Okay, okay. But until then, just chop or bearish um but yeah now we'll take a look at some of the best setups for next week so firm had a really nice setup here it was forming really nice tight consolidation and then it broke out here 
now it's doing the same thing again uh, forming a very nice bull flag um, it actually did break out on Friday but if you can buy it's still a good area to buy so um, yeah definitely keeping this one on watch the firm has been acting incredibly well over, ever since that big volume move um, yeah just straight up and now it's consolidating and then yeah it's acting really really well definitely want to keep an eye on that name um, next up app so this is another one that has been acting really well on friday many stocks were down but app managed to stay up and close in the green and it did that on big volume and it closed at its highs intraday highs so that's a very bullish sign and uh yeah definitely keeping this one on the watch as well it's been trending up all year long and uh yeah definitely keeping my eye on this trend line forming around here but uh yeah, this is definitely a top watch. Next up, CrowdStrike. So, um, cybersecurity stocks have been acting pretty well. Uh, CrowdStrike's one, TS is one. Um, they've all been forming really nice bases. They actually did reject this week. CrowdStrike did as well. Um, they rejected here, but if it can reclaim in the coming weeks and uh, take out this uh, trend line that's been forming, then there's a very good chance that. Uh, cybersecurity names can have a really good rally. These stocks were really big winners in 2020 and 2021, so uh, definitely have a lot of potential. So keep an eye on those names for sure. And then next up, Carvana. So Carvana had a really nice breakout on Thursday, a slight increase in volume, very good sign. But on Friday, it did pull back in pretty hard, but um, yeah, maybe it just needs some more consolidation and then it can get some follow through, but see if some full flag farms here and then. Uh, it could potentially break out even higher. Carvana does trade really nicely and makes big moves, so definitely keep this one on your watch list. Um, and then take a look at SoFi. So SoFi has been building the space. We put alerts here to keep track of it and remove them. So yeah, there's a really nice base forming here, SoFi. Um, and if it can take that 9.2 level out, there's a very good chance that it can resume its uptrend. And uh, yeah, this one has a lot of potential, makes really big moves. Like for this one example, then yeah, there is a, um, SoFi has potential to make a big move because it's so beaten down. But it's forming a really nice base here. And I think it has a lot of potential if it can take out that 9.2 level. I think there's room back all the way up to $10. But yeah, this one's definitely a top watch, especially since it's been holding up really well this week. Um, forming a really nice flag here. It looks really, and it looks, um, yeah, really ready to break out here. Um, yeah, definitely a top watch for next week. And then last but not least, VRT. I'll cover this stock before and I'm going to cover it again because it's been acting really well. Um, yeah, this stock did pull back to its 20 day and then it did bounce. And now it's just consolidating here, building a pretty nice bull flag. And this is a stock that has been trending all uh, trending up all year long. So there's a very good chance that once it breaks this bull flag, then it can continue trending and make a nice move. Um, but yeah, this one also has been showing a lot of relative strength this week and has been acting pretty well. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you guys for this week. Thank you guys for tuning in.